your patients. Um, so if, whenever everyone's ready to go camera on and all that kind of stuff. Uh, practicing a little long today, so I appreciate you guys all sticking around for us, but we got Christine Kalina here for you. Um, Caleb, go ahead and kick everything off for us. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted to ask you in your own words, uh, what happened in Toronto and uh, how the team handled that afterwards? Yeah, it was not easy. We didn't expect uh, results like this, even in the, in the first half, uh, received four goals. Uh, from the start of the game, I think uh, everything goes uh, on way how Toronto want. And even this first goal, how it was like a bouncing ball deflection. It can happen like one from 1,000 times that, that the ball come inside uh, like this. But yeah, we didn't react good. We we um, we keep this uh, uh, this type of we take this type of game what they want, and uh, yeah, it was uh, we was in something between of pressure and not pressure. They had this big quality with uh, with Insignia and uh, Bernardeschi, and uh, yeah, we we saw from my side we saw two types of Toronto first half and second half when they don't play and when they play, and yeah. Uh, how we handle it was not easy really it was not easy but uh, even we was uh, we were calm after the game we didn't fight between each other because this is the the most easiest way that uh, we we make uh, this in the dressing room but uh, yeah this week we trained really good and uh, we need to to show better performance because of our fans. And this was the, the biggest embarrassing is uh, from my side to to come in front of our fans. And uh, yeah, they support us unbelievable all season. And uh, the game like this, uh, they, don't, they don't deserve this. And kind of following up on that, Fuchs said in the post-game co press conference after Toronto, he said that this is a game that you just have to forget about it and move on. How do you guys forget about the game? How do you, as a group, move on and and look to Columbus? Yeah, uh, this is the 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 most difficult things in the football because some things uh, you can say this and uh, like okay, we must move on, we must forget this game, uh, but sometimes uh, here inside stay this this feeling, this bad feeling, even from Miami still uh, in uh, in my heart stays. But uh, from another side, yes, uh, we we need to show our our face and uh, move on because uh, in front of us is very important three games. If we will be in in our mind with these games before, like uh, what we lose or how we lose, uh, then we will lose just uh, more points in front of us, and we don't want this. And last one for me, uh, Christian Latanjo said also after the game that in order for the team to focus and move on to push for playoffs. The team needs to stay together. You guys need to be unified. Can you kind of talk about the team's unity and the group as a whole, as a as a brotherhood? Uh, yeah, I can say that uh, we are really good uh, inside of the room with uh, all of us, with each other. And uh, we need to grow normal, like, like every relationship or uh, every group, but uh, we are in, good, in the good way. Sometimes like we show really, really good performance, like against Chelsea, like against Nashville home, like against uh, Houston away. And then like uh, comes the game, like uh, Inter Miami second half or first half against Toronto. Yes, but we need to grow up like the team because uh, uh, this type of uh, games, uh, we need to show better group and better performance of, uh, of everybody of us. Appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. Mike, have at it. Good afternoon, Christian. How are you? I'm good. Good. I just came from the training, and uh, yeah, it was. It really hit outside, and uh, yeah, it's it's not easy. <laughs> well, you're getting your real taste of the Carolina summer. Um, you know, when you look at the game overall, not in one game in particular, you see guys that are scoring goals and they're doing all the celebrating. But as a goalkeeper. How did you get into being a goalkeeper? What what led you to play goal as opposed to being a defender or midfielder or strike? Uh, it's not easy from my position because uh, 
in the warming up uh, in the warming up sometimes you feel like perfect oh i feel really really good but then in the game camps like this like some situation when you are far away from the ball and the ball just comes in 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 your net and yeah uh, even in toronto first half i i think I, I i i don't know really but i think i didn't touch the ball and four times the ball comes in the net and uh, how the game start yes you try to be like more focused try to help the team but sometimes uh, like you cannot help the team like uh, the, the games goes like this and uh, yeah you can just be positive and uh, wait your chance to to show something but uh, yeah sometimes uh, it doesn't happen this uh, this moment but as far as you as a as a goalkeeper when did you first decide that you wanted to be a goalkeeper like you know, as a kid growing up, I mean, where where does that where does that bug like bite you to say, yeah, this is what I want to do? Yeah, it's a little bit uh, uh, funny story because my my father was uh, something easy sick, like he was just home like for two three days, and uh, I was uh, on the door. He he put like handball ball on the, on these doors and. I like to save it. This uh, goes down to on the floor, and like this, he asked me like, oh, "Do you want to go to be goalkeeper?" And I say, "Okay, I want." Then we go outside of the on the one field. He trained me a little bit because he 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 bought the 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 book of the goalkeeper, and then he teach me some things. And then after a few months, I go to to a professional club and start. I start immediately like goalkeeper even when i'm outside with my friends every time i play uh, i play i ne never stay on the goal like uh, when i'm I, when i were when i was in the school yeah i played the football but when i'm in the professional football all the time i i, I was on the goal and as a result you you know you have that last line of defense mentality i mean if something breaks down the entire team is looking at you to save the day. So how do you kind of handle that pressure? How do you uh, deal with it? Do you kind of thrive off of it? I mean, what drives you? Yeah, it's it's not an easy question because, yeah, for, for me, even on the training, when the ball comes in the net, this is the, I will not say the most painful, but, yeah, we work for this, that I save this ball, that I uh, give the power for my defense, and uh, yeah, from one from one part is a perfect feeling when you save something big or something normal. And uh, yeah, the defense uh, feel like that they have saved back. And from another side, when it comes the, uh, the game like Toronto, yeah, after the game, I feel like I didn't help the team because I cannot help the team like like some players can. They can run, they can fight, they can go in the duel. Even we lose. From some part of the, uh, from some uh, players, you will say, "Hey, but he fights. He showed that he fights." From my side, how I can fight? I cannot go in the field and and uh, jump on the. Yeah, I can just be on the goal and I can save it or I will not save it. I cannot run. I cannot uh, show more things uh, like like the players. And this is the most painful because some games like this, I stay on the back and I can speak with them like uh, to support them. But if I don't support them like uh, with with my saves, it's very difficult. Last one for me. After the Toronto game, the way that it played out, how are you trying to put that one behind you personally? Because you've got to, you know, you've got to refocus as Columbus is coming in here now. Yeah, this uh, okay. We had uh, one day free after the game, and then uh, this was the the perfect day to put away everything. To be a little bit more with family, and uh, yeah, from the Monday when we start to train, uh, really you you need to put away this this game and uh, be focused on Columbus because uh, I said already three games in front of us, really important games. Now uh, we don't have any time to to make bad results. Like maybe in the start of the season, you can lose three games in a row, and then you will say, okay, we have time. We will now. Honestly, we don't have time, and that's it. All of us, uh, we know this. We have our targets, and uh, we need to keep forward and to believe in this. Excellent. Thank you very much.
Thank you. All right. Awesome. We'll wrap it there. Thanks, everyone, for your patience today. Um, and then we'll syndicate this one out to everyone that's not on here right now. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.